as a parent, how are you? How do you feel about your the, the students who are underage having to go through this with the and their band director? Um, so I know early in the week I had already said that I didn't want to play a jail. Um, my experience, first game going to a Birmingham City game was already harsh. And so, in my opinion, Birmingham police at the city games are just very aggressive. And so, maybe it's because they tired, maybe it's overtime, I'm not sure. But it's just the, as soon as you arrive, everything is super aggressive. Sit down, don't move. So, I never wanted to go to, to jail to play. I would have preferred to play minor. We've had field quarter at minor with no issues. And if I can ask too, I guess just tell me the emotions just witnessing that situation. What was going through your mind? I heard a lot of screams too. It was, I think so for us, it didn't really escalate until the lights went out. So before the lights went out, everybody was kind of okay. But as soon as the lights went out, I know for the dancing, they took off running, kids were screaming, crying, people were fainting. Like it was just a lot. And so I think um, up until the lights going out, we didn't think it was about to escalate to the point we got to. I heard that officers also threatened to mace some of the kids um, if they didn't go to the bus. Um, did any of you witness that or hear about that? I, I didn't. Um, actually, to be honest, some of the Birmingham police that weren't involved in the incident, like they came over after the fact, were extremely concerned, like in disbelief. So as they approached, they were asking us what was going on, and they were extremely like, oh my God, I can't believe it happened. And also, I know Mr. Mims was the bus driver. How did everyone get home after that? What was that like? Um, well, we had to, um, some of the kids walked with parents, some of them had to go to other bus, and also the football team was there assisting with us as we got the kids to the buses and some of the kids would, um, got on football bus. Can you guys just share with us what made you come out here today to be open with the public about wanting to speak, you know, in defense of Mr. Mims? I think for me it was the original statement. So Birmingham's original statement was um, not completely true. So it shed a light that, number one, jail stopped playing, which was not true. Jail was still playing while my band director was getting tased because they were not aware of what was going on. So for me, I think it was um, just trying to make sure both statements told, you know, it was the truth and not just one clean statement versus trying to justify what happened. Did you, uh, did anybody here um, see any police officer act aggressively towards any students or other people other than Mr. Sims? When we first arrived, there was a lot of aggression when we first got there uh, while we were standing at the gates before even entering in. Um, otherwise, we did not until they came over there in front of us. And let me go back because I want to ask the question that was asked before. Um, when they cut the lights off and they keep saying nobody fell, I fell. I, I fell. I hurt my knee, my head, and my fingers was cut up. I, but my responsibility at that time was to get up and make sure all 145 kids are accounted for as the band was the president. My husband is one of the in the videos also. Police have um, threatened to taste him and another parent that was trying to de escalate the situation. So they were aggressive all around to everyone that was trying to help get this solved without the taste. So the scene was set. That what you're saying like y'all everybody kind of felt like we were being it was aggressive from the time you entered the game so i mean even before we even marched in it was aggressive yeah so i can remember walk, walking with the dancing to the opposite side and when i tried to get back to minor side because i guess birmingham city's rule is to separate the sides and we don't do that in jefferson county um, when I did try to get back to my side and I asked, like, hey, can I just go back to my side? It was the, the interaction was still really like, why are you over here in the first place? So, in my opinion, it was just aggressive overall. And, and, to, and to talk about that, um, when they were aggressive, did they actually push anybody or physically touch anybody other than them? I didn't think they were touching them more over. And what about, um, what was it like trying to leave the stadium in the dark? 
Because it was cake that we had football, club. we had whoever came in to help get our equipment. We have coolers, we have our flat girls, that, but flag bags are taller than me, and we have over 20 color guards. Their bags, the dance girls have to get their equipment. Our dance, we call our band is so large, our dance girls were seated on the track. And we have 12, 15 girls, so we had to get 15 chairs to haul and bring back to the trail to take back to the school. So we have all this stuff and we're doing all of this in the dark alone trying to make sure we have 140 kids accounted for. Some of them may have, I think some of them have dropped mouthpieces. We could not find some of them. I know a phone was down. Somebody picked up a phone um, because the kid lost it. Would you I, describe it as chaotic? Yes, very chaotic. And, and, and like people just, how did you get everybody out of there? I mean. Once we, once we got them out of there, we made sure that they were accounted for. Even we also have a band now. Kids that left with their parents, we made sure that they let us know or let somebody know who they are with uh, upon arriving back to the school. Also, we had kids that passed out, panic attacks. We even got, when we pulled back at the school, there were ambulance there because kids falling out, passing out. One even hit her head, falling off the bus um, due to all of these. Um, it was told that some of them did get paper spray. I don't know that for sure, but we had one that had asthma, and because of the spray, had an asthma attack at the school. It's very chaotic. Those kids are very traumatized. A lot of them don't know what to do. I have parents calling me left to right. What am I supposed to do? How am I going to help them mentally after all of this? Do you think um, Jefferson County Schools told us that there are counselors available at minor? Do you think that's enough for what everybody witnessed that day? Um, According to what the parents are telling me, it's not enough because they're still dealing with kids not wanting to go to school. They're kids, um, dealing with having dreams about, I got a text on the way here. Like, what do I do? She had another, that child had another episode today. They're, they're just very traumatized by this. They're not used to seeing stuff. It's one thing to see it on TV, but when you see it in front of you, that's terrifying to any child. What do you want to see moving forward? If y'all have to play J.O. again, what do you want to see the next time you go to that school or they come to y'all? What do y'all want to see? I don't even want to come back to that school. I would prefer they come to mine because we had fifth quarter last year with no problem. I mean, no problem. We played, they played, we played, they played, we went home. So you didn't have Jefferson County. And, 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 and I think another thing is um, like the sense of that it's dragged out. Fifth quarter is not that long. I mean, it's literally the band songs are like two minutes. Mine to play two songs. So if we really talk about it, if we could have just let the song in, it was fine. So if Birmingham City School, and again, we did fifth quarter, we played Chalkable before. County school turf, no problem. But now that we go to Birmingham City School, it was an issue. So I would prefer that we don't play on, on, on another Birmingham City turf again. If we do have to play, I would prefer that their officers be transparent with our officers because we do have just the kind of officers that escorts us to the game. Um, this situation could have easily been told, hey, can you get your band to, you know, is we ready to go? Can you get your band and y'all go ahead and leave? Simple as that. And we will ask for just transparent on both sides that they cooperate with our um, staff and officers and same for them.